This is Joe Biden, the resident of the United States. Last year, Biden went to Florida in an attempt to scare seniors into voting Democrat. So I mean this sincerely. You need to know this. You need to know why. Because of your own senator, Senator Rick Scott, I have the brochure here he has. And he laid out a clear plan. He said every five years, Social Security and Medicare would have to be reauthorized. Back in February 2022, Senator Rick Scott of Florida put out an 11-point plan to rescue America. In it, he made the suggestion that as part of government reform, all federal legislation sunsets in five years. If a law is worth keeping, Congress can pass it again. Quote, all federal legislation sunsets, means go out of, goes out of existence in five years. If the law is worth keeping, Congress will pass it again. So every five years, the Congress have to vote to reauthorize Social Security. Reauthorize it or else it goes away. However, Joe Biden is lying. Even left-wing fact-checkers like PolitiFact admit this, writing, Scott's proposal does not specifically call for a phase-out of Medicare and Social Security. In fact, in Senator Scott's proposal, he suggests that Congress should be forced to issue a report every year telling the public what they plan to do when Social Security and Medicare go bankrupt. Now, why would he say that? Clearly, Senator Scott is concerned about the future of Social Security and Medicare. In the meantime, most Democrats are in full denial that it's in trouble and don't even want to hear about it. Do you know that Social Security is going to be insolvent in 2035? It is not going to be. That yes, is not true. That, that is actually, actually not true. No, it's say. actually not now, true. Joy, it's actually I'm a not true. Professional. It's actually not. It, but Congress. it's actually I not true. The financial community. I That's actually you. not true. Social That's Security actually not true. Will go insolvent. That's actually not true. Those are the facts. That's not Should true. Should we not prepare that is not for true. that? So Congressman Donald's very correct claim is that Social Security is 12 years away from insolvency, and Joy Reid's counter is. La 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 la, that's not true, la 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 la. And then along came Senator Johnson from Wisconsin. He says five years is too long to wait. No, I, it's hard to believe. No, I really mean it. It's hard to believe. He says, it takes, that, that's too long. Every year, every single year it should be on the chopping block, along with veterans benefits and everything else in the federal budget. What? The federal buzzet. The federal buzzet, guys. Anyway, here's what Ron Johnson actually said. The defense spending has always been discretionary. VA spending is discretionary. What's mandatory are things like Social Security and Medicare. If you qualify for the entitlement, you just get it no matter what the cost. And our problem in this country is that more than 70% of our federal budget, of our federal spending, is all mandatory spending. It's on automatic pilot. It, it never, you just don't do proper oversight. You don't get in there and fix the programs going bankrupt. It's just on automatic pilot. What we ought to be doing is we ought to turn everything into discretionary spending so it's all evaluated so that we, we can fix problems or fix programs that are broken that are going to be going bankrupt. So for clarity, Senator Johnson is suggesting that Social Security and Medicare need proper oversight so that they can be fixed. Did he say anything about cutting or eliminating? And Senator Johnson was forced to defend himself and is quoted as saying the following. I've been saying for as long as I've been here that we should transfer everything, put everything on budget, so we have to consider it every year. I've said that consistently. It's nothing new. He also said, I want to save it, I want to fix it. Right now, we're whistling past the graveyard. Notice that Ron Johnson said that he wants to fix the programs going bankrupt and I want to save it, I want to fix it. And of course, Joe Biden conveniently left that part out. And instead of telling the truth, Joe Biden uses the term chopping block and they want to take it away. You've been paying the Social Security your whole life. You earned it. Now these guys want to take it away. Who in the hell do they think they are? Excuse my language. Biden is lying about Republicans wanting to cut Social Security and Medicare to distract voters from the fact that Democrats don't have a plan to keep these programs from going insolvent. The lie is literally all they have. And the lie by Democrats 
that Republicans want to eliminate these programs is so insidious that even the fact checker at the Washington Post was forced to debunk it and give the claim for Pinocchios. And even though it has been debunked, Joe Biden, who is a f slimy piece of garbage, keeps saying it anyway. Now, sir, listen closely to this because it's deadly earnest. They're coming after your Social Security and Medicare, and they're saying it out loud. If Congress doesn't vote to keep it, it the program goes away. It's not a joke. Not a joke. So leading up to Joe Biden's second State of the Union address, Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy said specifically that cuts to Social Security and Medicare were off the table. Are you willing to consider any reductions to Social Security and Medicare? No, let's take those off the table. We Completely. Want to, yeah, I mean, if you read our commitment to America, all we talk about is strengthening Medicare and Social Security. So, and I know the president says he doesn't even want to look at it, but we've got to make sure we strengthen those. We got to make sure that we strengthen Medicare and Social Security. And despite that pretty definitive statement, Joe Biden decided to attack Republicans over the issue during the State of the Union. I'm <laughs> sorry, wrong clip. <laughs> We're having some technical difficulties. We'll be right back. So my many of some of my Republican friends want to take the economy hostage. I get it. Unless I agree to their economic plans. All of you at home should know what those plans are. Instead of making the wealthy pay their fair share, some Republicans, some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. Let me give you, anybody who doubts it, contact my office. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. So as you can see and hear, Republicans were pissed. It's one thing for Biden to go on the road and lie about Republicans, but to blatantly lie about them while they're all in the same room, of course they were gonna push back. I'm not saying it's a majority of you. I don't even think it's even a significant, but it's being proposed by individuals. I'm not politely not naming them, but it's being proposed by some of you. Yeah, Biden won't directly name them because it would increase the likelihood of one of those individuals getting up and punching him in the face. So folks, as we all apparently agree, Social Security and Medicare is off the, off the books now, right? They're not to be stopped. Off the books? You mean off the table, dumbass? Anyway, it's pretty clear that Republicans are not planning on taking away Social Security and Medicare. And that should have been the end of it, right? But Joe Biden is such an asshole that he just had to keep going. Those benefits belong to the American people. They earned it. And if anyone tries to cut Social Security, which apparently no one's going to do. And if anyone tries to cut Medicare, I'll stop them. I'll veto it. And look, I'm not going to allow them to take away, be taken away. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. But apparently it's not going to be a problem. Of course it's not going to be a problem. Do you think that a Democrat majority in the Senate is going to vote to take entitlements away? He's screaming about a problem that does not exist. Anyway, the next day, Biden visited Wisconsin to give a speech about the economy and said the following. You know, people sent us a clear message. Fighting for the sake of fighting gets us nowhere. And that would be a really nice sentiment if he actually believed it. I remind you that Rick Scott from Florida, the guy who ran the US Senate campaign, has a plan. I got his brochure right here. He says, all federal legislation sunsets every five years. If the law is worth keeping, Congress can pass it again. So much for unity and not fighting for the sake of fighting. And then we found there was a, you know, there's a senator named Mike Lee. They played last night something I didn't even know existed. A video of him saying, I'm here right now to tell you one thing you probably never heard from a politician. It'll be my objective to phase out Social Security. Pull it up by its roots, get rid of it. And what Biden is saying is somewhat true. Here's the clip. I'm here right now to tell you one thing that you probably haven't ever heard from a politician. It will be my objective 
to phase out Social Security. To pull it up by the roots and get rid of it. Here, here, here. Now, while Biden is mostly correct with his quote of Mike Lee, Biden is also being incredibly dishonest. First, Mike Lee's quote requires additional context. We have to hold harmless those who are current beneficiaries, those who have retired and are currently receiving those benefits. Their benefits have to be left <coughs> untouched, unchanged, unfazed. Um, the, the, the next layer beneath them, those who will retire within the next few years, probably also have to be held harmless. And he went on to say that there are people paying into that who won't see a dime because in its current form, Social Security is unsustainable. At some point on the other end of the spectrum, people born after a certain date, perhaps born uh, after 1970 as I was, probably need to be told, look, you're never going to get a dime. You know, you're going to have to continue paying this tax into the system so that we can continue to afford it for those to whom we've committed irrevocably to do it. But you're never going to get a dime. And Mike Lee was saying that because, again, Social Security is eventually going to become insolvent. And that's an indisputable fact. Now, Joe Biden is being dishonest for taking Mike Lee out of context, sure. But he's really being dishonest because he left out the small detail that this video clip is from February 23rd, 2010. Which means that these were made while he was running for senator 13 years ago. And despite his political opinion, Mike Lee won. So the voters obviously agreed with him. And I also need to point out that during his first year in Congress, Mike Lee introduced a bill called, wait for it, the Social Security Solvency and Sustainability Act. We face a, a shortfall of uh, five to six trillion dollars between what has been promised to beneficiaries of Social Security or future beneficiaries and what the system is actually equipped presently to pay out. We want to fix that. We want to make it sustainable over a 75 year period and sustainable in perpetuity. Wait, he wants to make Social Security sustainable in perpetuity? Gee, it's almost like Joe Biden is misrepresenting Mike Lee's position. But you know what? Joe Biden wants to refer to statements made years ago. Well, two can play that game. Here's Joe Biden back when he had earlobes. But it seems to me that we should tell the American people. I look at the polls out there. For example, I want to go on record. I'm up for re-election this year, and I'm going to remind everybody what I did at home, which is going to cost me politically. I, when I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. Well, well, well. So Joe Biden, while speaking about the Balanced Budget Act, talked about cuts not only just to Social Security, I meant Medicare and Medicaid. I meant veterans benefits. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. I, for one, am shocked and appalled, Joe Biden. I thought you said that touching those things would be outrageous. And remember how he went after senators for simply expressing an opinion? Well, Senator Joseph R. Biden Jr. actually introduced a bill that would do what he's now arguing against. Senate Bill 2067 a bill to limit the period of authorization of new budget authority and to require comprehensive review and study of existing programs for which continued budget authority is proposed to be authorized by the committees of the Congress. And the text of the bill, which, as Joe Biden would say, wrote with his own paw, says the following. Limits to four years the budget authorization of existing laws, which provides such authorization for a period of more than four years. In other words, all federal legislation would sunset after four years. If a law is worth keeping, Congress can pass it again. So to be very clear, Joe Biden once introduced a bill that would require all federal legislation to be reauthorized every four years. And now he's attacking Senator Rick Scott for the mere suggestion that all federal legislation would need to be reauthorized every five years. When Biden talked about his bill, he said, it requires that every program be looked at freshly at least once every four years. But years later, he's utterly appalled that someone would suggest the same thing. All federal legislation sunsets in five years. So every five years, the Congress have to vote to reauthorize 
Social Security. One thing that we must do is to begin reviewing existing programs to determine whether they are still effective and whether they are worth the money that we are putting in them. If the law is worth keeping, Congress will pass it again. Those are literally the same thing, Joe. The very idea the senator from Florida wants to put Social Security and Medicare in the chopping block every five years, I find to be somewhat outrageous. So outrageous that you might not even believe it. But Joe Biden literally introduced legislation that by his own logic would have done the same thing. Joe Biden is the hypocrite in chief. Some of you are on Social Security or your parents or grandparents are. You earned it. You earned every single penny and you paid into every paycheck you ever got. From the time you were a teenager, you had money taken out for this program. So Biden is saying that Americans paid into it and that Rick Scott's plan would jeopardize their social security benefits. And that wouldn't be right. But at the same time, Biden's own legislation would have jeopardized social security. It's the same exact idea. So here's a question for all of you Democrats. Why was it okay when Joe Biden introduced the bill to do it, but it's completely outrageous when Rick Scott merely suggested it? Let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear your poor excuses. Anyway, that's it for now. Follow me on Twitter at Don't Walk Run and be sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. As always, hope to see you next time. If there is next time.